In China, there have always been one or two mistakes when we cross the English and Chinese language. Whether it's on a street sign or on a menu, there will always be some inconsistencies. But to be honest, with a significant difference in our languages, I'm not surprised it happens at all. However, according to news.sinhuanet.com, the Shanxi government is trying to correct a few of these inconsistencies that are affecting the area. As of March 1st, the famous big and small wild goose pagodas are officially changing their English names. When talking about the change, it's actually quite confusing because to foreigners, the name Dayan Ta actually means big goose pagoda. However, the yen represents a goose we're used to and not the ones found in China, meaning that actually in China, it's not a goose. It's actually a kind of animal that looks like a bird. So from now, there will be no English name and foreigners will have to refer to it as Da Yen Ta. The government is not stopping here. And over the course of the year, they'll be looking to see what other sites do not match up properly. Our second piece of news is about archaeology. In 2012, Chinese archaeologists were very active, and according to xyl.gov.cn, there were hundreds of new historical discoveries that were all made throughout the country. Several different kind of discoveries were made, ranging from tombs to stone mound sites. The State Administration of Cultural Heritage is currently reviewing 43 of these sites and is coming up with a top 10 list. The Shanxi province has a good shot of getting into the top 10 this year as they alone had seven discoveries. The seven included the Paleolithic ruins in Luonan Basin, Shimao Ruin in Shimu County, West Zhou Dynasty Royal Family Tomb in Shigu Mountain located in Baoji City, Yao Family Tombs in Zhou Yuan Village, Qin Dynasty Yong City Ruin in Fengxiang County, and Qin and Han Dynasty's Wei Bridge Ruin in Weihe area, and finally the Zhang Family Tomb in Beizhou Village in Xi'an City. I wish all of them luck and hope all of them can be open to the public ASAP. Okay, next up, let's check out a temple fair. Although many temple fairs were held during the New Year festival, there is still time for one more. Compared to Chinese New Year where temple fairs celebrate happiness, this one will celebrate health. According to snxinhuanet.com, on the second day of the second month on the lunar calendar, which is March 12th for us, there will be a two-week-long temple fair that will take place in Yao Wang Mountain located in Tongchuan City. The name of the mountain Yao Wang literally means king of medicine, and the reason it is called this is because of a few reasons. One is that this area is famous for having a lot of medicinal herbs and plants that are still used in today's medicine, and the other because of a doctor called Sun Simiao who used to live here. Sun Simiao, who lived here during the Tang Dynasty 1400 years ago, was like a savior in this time as he saved thousands of lives with what he used around him. The Temple Fair's primary purpose is to promote good health, so over the two-week period there will be exhibitions and programs that give you information about how to keep healthy. Okay, that's it for today's show. As I mentioned in our last episode, springtime is short. So if you're keen to travel to China, I would start packing those bags ASAP. I'm Aaron Stadlin-Roby. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.